In London, a former traitor <coughs> is in court this morning. He's the first person to face trial for alleged LIBOR rigging. Bloomberg's Ryan Chilcote is at Southwark Crown Court in London right now. Ryan, the accused is an actual human being. What is he accused of exactly? Well, he's accused of conspiring with other bankers to effectively manipulate LIBOR, to rig, uh, rig LIBOR rates. Uh, and uh, the indictment includes eight counts uh, going back to uh, allegations that he did this uh, as far back as uh, 2006 and right up through 2010. First when he was at UBS and then he was at Citigroup. His name's Tom Hayes. He's 35 years old. Uh, he was uh, charged about three years ago, but today is his first day in court and the trial began about two and a half hours ago. It's been pretty interesting so far. Um, Ryan Banks just paid close to four billion pounds in fines for manipulating the foreign exchange markets. Now we're moving back to LIBOR. That is an earlier manipulation uh, for which they also paid fines. Um, what is the actual, what is the future of unraveling um, the human trial? So if we're looking at this guy on trial, is anybody else going on trial as well? Any more actual human beings? Yes, many, uh, in fact, are uh, supposed to go on trial. We can't talk about all of it because of um, restrictions on reporting, can't uh, run afoul of uh, contempt of court in, in the U.K. They're pretty specific about what we can say. But there will be more trials. And what I think is different about this, Brendan, is, you know, the banks have paid a lot in fines uh, for LIBOR, uh, $9 billion. So it's not just FX. Uh, LIBOR's uh, been a big issue, and it remains a material one. Just look at Deutsche Bank's earnings from a, a month ago. But this is really the human aspect of it, I guess. You know, uh, there was a big public outcry, for you remember, uh, when we all learned about LIBOR, how LIBOR gets set, and about the, the idea that people may have been rigging it for their own gain. And there uh, has been a lot of uh, pressure on prosecutors and regulators to go after individual traders. So this is sort of the beginning of that process. That's where this fits in. Okay, Ryan Chilcote in London. Thanks, Ryan.